Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this is my ninth CPAC. And the reason I keep coming back to CPAC, despite the protest from MatchLab, is that I believe the fate of our nations are inextricably linked. In fact, I've made somewhat of a fashion statement about it. <laughs> the fates of our nations are inextricably linked, not just through history, but right now in the present. When you have the attempted nullification project that is going on here, that is led by Antifa and George Soros and CNN, they're trying to nullify what you guys chose in 2016. And in the same time, in the United Kingdom, there is a Brexit nullification project in place. They are trying to do to us, our voices and our choices, the same things they are trying to do to you. Quite. <laughs> One of those voices in the Brexit nullification process, a man you've probably heard something about. He's the, uh, he's the, he's the London mayor. <laughs> so you've, you've, you, you've heard of him. Sadiq Khan. Send a bigger message to Sadiq Khan right now, please. who has spent his first year in office publicly attacking President Donald Trump and spending his time overseeing, heaping up Brit Britain's funeral pyre, overseeing London crime rates skyrocketing, rape up 18%, youth homicide up 70%, robbery up 33%. This is London today under Sadiq Khan, but he's more interested in whether your president attends a royal wedding. But there is a man, there is a man, and I believe our fates are intertwined. There is a man who like Paul Revere, riding through the night to warn the British are coming, the British are coming. <laughs> just like that, just like that. There is a man who has rode for nearly 30 years in the face of the European Union and the BBC to scream, the British are leaving, the British are leaving. Let's remind ourselves a little bit of Nigel's journey.